Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's another fishing episode. We've been glorious fishing. We've got Paul with us tonight, socially distancing, right. of course. And uh, yeah, Paul's managed to go and dig a load of logworm today, which is absolutely great. And uh, I've managed to go and dig some ragworm after work. So uh, we won't say where we dog it, but yeah. I managed to get some guys, so that's the main thing. So uh, we're down at the arbor tonight. It's currently blowing a southwest wind. Wind is currently about an eight mile and eight, eight mile an hour, nine mile an hour wind, but that is not going to hamper us here tonight, guys. We've had easterlies lately. To be fair, I could have gone fishing last night on the easterly because there was no wind, but hey, I I didn't go. But tonight we've gone. So uh, yeah, we've got a load of variety of baits. We've got squid, mackerel, logworm, and ragworm. So I'm going to be trying to target a late red mullet. Uh, chances of that, don't know, but there's always a chance of a bass or a conger or anything else jumping on it, a dogfish. So, yeah, it is what it is. So, we're already down here. I've got the rods uh, out. I'll give you a glimpse of the setup and stuff like that. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, guys, really appreciate it. If you hit the subscribe button, we're on 10.7k already. And, uh, yeah, it's climbing dramatically. So, uh, we've got a giveaway coming up on the 13th of March, so make sure you've subscribed. And put hashtag giveaway on the uh, subscriber video and yeah let's get to it so uh yeah i'll give you a glimpse of the bait give you a glimpse of the rods and get the rods out there hopefully get some fish so guys little glimpse of the bait here this is the bait that we're using paul's got some uh mackerel and he's got some squid in there in a bucket there we've also got some logworm that paul's dog he's got about 70 80 logworm in there he did quite well in half an hour and uh yeah i did well in half an hour as well we've got a load of uh ragworm there guys so uh yeah, crack and bait, so hopefully it's gonna do the business tonight. Paul's already got his rods out, so hopefully, he's eating his crisps, but hopefully we can, uh, yeah, he's got three rods out, so hopefully the fish start appearing, guys. Hopefully we can get a few red mullet and stuff like that. Hopefully a bass conga, you name it, we'll get it here. So I'm gonna give you a glimpse of my rods, I'm gonna get them out, and then we're gonna be fishing. So guys, quick view of my rods. As always, we're using the Tronic Grow Gorilla Rods, 13 foot. They're a four to seven ounce rod, guys, and I'm using the two-up flapping rig and the rolling ledger, as I always use, with the zip slider. So the zip slider rig contains of a bead float, uh, bead boom bead with a five, five ounce weight uh, down to a barrel swivel, 200 pound, which is there. Uh, the main line is 25 pound main line. The rig body, the trace, should I say, is 20 pound. And um, we've got a few loomy beads there. Well, not loomy beads, but luminous beads. And we're down to a one size one hook and uh yeah loaded with ragworm second rod like i said two up flapper rig um we got yeah ragworm beads green and black hopefully we get a flatty we never really get them here and yeah same at the bottom using a bomb weight i think that's four or five ounce and yeah size one hooks as always ragworm on it and also you can't forget guys the pen five through five mag twos absolutely fantastic reels anyway i'm going to blast these out we're going to go and get some fish that's number one out number two going out for the red mullet baby oh she's spooled baby <laughs> so guys paul's just had an absolutely crack and bite on this rod he says that he's had logworm on it and that properly pulled over. He jolted off as if he was Usain Bolt. <laughs> Hopefully that materialises, mate, because that was an absolute cracker of a bite. Cardiac bolt. Cardiac bolt. <laughs> we got the AID, AED unit. It's there again. We got the AED unit anyway if Paul needs it. So uh, <laughs> down the bottom. They put it there especially for him. <laughs> But no, nah, no, nah, all serious now, hopefully th that bite materialises. There was another little knock just before, but oh, that literally slammed over. Anyway, we'll bring you back if something materialises. It's not heavy, heavy, but quite, you know. Why's my other line there? I'm not in my other line, am I? No, you're underneath it. What's going on? I don't know what this is, guys. That was heavy though, I don't know if I'm caught my other line. The whip. Am I caught my other line? No? Is that it? Oh well. First fish, guys. 
little whip there. I'll just turn off my camera so you can uh, my light so you can see it better. There you are, guys. Perfect representation of a little conger eel there. Absolutely great. So we're going to get him off the hook and uh, yeah, get him released. Well, guys, there's a glimpse of him. He's only hooked lightly in the bottom of the jaw. Absolutely great. Lovely looking conger eel that. Lovely little whip. We're going to get him back nice and safely. Hopefully. Someone could get his grandma, but I'm after the red, so uh, hopefully we can get a red or a uh, bass. So guys, the rods are out. We've only had that little conger whip at the moment. Uh, you can see Castle Corner in the background there. Like I say, we're fishing down Guernsey Harbour. This is the main harbour. This is where we normally fish and get the red mullet. Now, I've got both rods out. Like I said, we've only had that one fish and Paul had a nice, decent bite when I first arrived. But other than that, it hasn't been very good, guys, especially to say that it's a nine metre tide. Look how high the tide is. You know, it's not that far down, so you know, we've got nine meters of water in here at, at a minimum. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, the fish will start appearing soon. If not, I ain't gonna make much of a video, that's for sure. So, guys, currently 15 minutes before high water, and you can see how high the tide is now because it's ramp for the uh, ships to unload the vehicles and the freight. You can see how high it is compared to here. Look, this is what we're standing on, way above us. Normally, it's a lot lower. But yeah, we've got the rods out, guys, and not a lot's happened other than that conga. Really, not a lot. I apologise for the wind noise because I haven't got my wind slayer on. So, uh, yeah, I've got one rod out there in the middle, and then me and Paul have got four other rods out here, guys. So, hopefully, we can get you a few fish. Like I say, hopefully, after high water, it might start biting. You never know. Guys, Paul's having a few pulls on the conga rod there. He's got a big. Is that the one with the mackerel head on? Uh, it's mackerel and squid, that one. Mackerel and squid on that. So, uh, yeah, there was a couple of big pulls that... Anyway, we bring you back. That conga jumps on. Hopefully, we can get a nice one. Not a lot happening. Well, guys, I caught you off there. That green one was just going over then. Paul's green one. Things seem to be picking up at the moment. Is that the one with the mackerel? That's the one with the mackerel. That's the one with the mackerel on it. That went right over as soon as I switched off the camera. There it goes, look. Boom, boom. It's a nice big mackerel head, so we'll wait for him to eat it, guys. And we'll show you this conga. Hopefully he gets it. Oh, oh. I was just about to turn off the camera then. A couple of nice pulls. Well guys, Paul's got a conger on, check the bend out. I don't know if we're going to need the drop net, I'm just getting it ready. We haven't got this set up because we've had no bites whatsoever. He was just hitched and then Paul's just pulled him out his hole, literally. So I'm going to chop that in. Oh no, he's not big. He's not big. Oh, he's not bad. He's not bad. Let's pull him up. Put him in there, it's worth it. Save so breaking oh. your rod. I'll get him out. You sure? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got him. There you are. Beautiful fine conga there, chap. He seems to be coming out there holes, guys. He's had a lot of bites recently, and we're right at the top of the tide. Conga. Conga, baby. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. It's absolutely fantastic, as Gary Barlow would say. Check that out. That's a beauty of a conga, guys. Anyway, guys, he's going to get that out. That's probably about two, three pounds. It's not a big one, but... It's a fish at least, it's the biggest one of the night so far. Hopefully, we get his grandma. So guys, there's Paul's conga. He's gonna get rid of it. What we're gonna have to do is just cut the line close to the mouth. There he goes, as uh, he had swallowed the hook. So that will come out in two or three days, guys. Uh, it will rust out and he'll be good as new. So uh, yeah, let's get some more of these congas. So guys, I've just pulled up my run and ledger rig and what I've done is, to the 200 pound break and strain swivel, I've tied 80 pound mono all the way down to a uh, 6 0 panel rig. And uh, yeah, we're going to go for the congas, guys. So I've got a nice big bit of squid on that, plenty of hook exposure. And uh, yeah, any fish, well, conga especially, is going to want to go for that, guys. So uh, I'm going to blast this out and hopefully we can get you a few congas. So, guys, we're nearly at the end of the session. Uh, last 15 minutes. Paul's rod there, that red one, that thing just went absolutely ballistic. 
Now, I don't know what it was. We went to go into it and there was nothing there. So, we're hoping in the next 15 minutes we might be able to pull you out one more conga. But if not, it's been a lovely evening anyway. Uh, lovely weather and it's just nice to get out fishing. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can get you one more, guys. Let's hope so. Paul's there. Oh, he's packing up that one now. So, yeah, hopefully we can get you one. So, guys, that's another fishing trip with me and Paul. Uh, we've been down the harbour fishing for red mullet bass and congas. We had a couple of congas. Well, Paul had a couple of congas. Oh, I had one little whip as well. But other than that, nothing, guys. I was, I was expecting a lot more this evening, especially with the wind, how it is. It's blowing to the west as well. It's nice and light. Nice big tides, and I was expecting more. But, hey, oh, that's fishing. It ain't called catching for uh, no reason. So, uh, yeah, if you like the channel, like, subscribe. There's going to be plenty more. Uh, there's going to be more shore fishing with Paul and uh, boat fishing, lobster fishing, you name it, we do it. So uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Some glorious fishing. Thanks Cheers. for watching.